here is the time and displacement in the go, go, go lab of the toy train. First thing to notice is that we have the uncertainty here. And the uncertainty, the decimal places, must agree with the data. Right now, they do not. So I'm going to select these. And I'm going to increase these to one decimal place. Now that agrees. When I originally measured, we might have had an 18.2 centimeters. But this experiment has a fairly large realistic uncertainty. And it may be up to two centimeters due to the placement of our marker and how sharp it is. So that data got rounded off actually. Now let's get that data into Logger Pro. So again, we're just going to copy and we're going to Logger Pro. Oops, go to Logger Pro and go paste. Like always, we're going to get our labels here. This is time, the symbol is T, and the units are seconds. This is displacement, which we're going to find out is slightly different than distance. Uh, the symbol for displacement is not D, it is S, and our units are centimeters. For now, if you're confused with displacement, don't worry about that. Done. It looks like a pretty good straight line, so again, I'm going to click a straight line, and I can see that some dots are a bit above, and some are a bit below, but it's still pretty good. Let's see what the uncertainties actually tell us. The reaction time I have here is so about 0.3 of a second. So I'm going to add that to Logger Pro. I'm going to double click on time, click over here on options, error bar calculations, and we're going to put here a 0.3. And we can see that all of a sudden we have these error bars now. So these ones that were too small, well, the line goes through the error bar. This data maybe isn't so good. Now the displacement we said was two centimeters. So let's see how big those error bars for two centimeters are gonna be. So again, error bar calculations, not 0 0.3, but this one for two. Ooh, tiny little guys. So again, this piece of data actually doesn't fit. It fits a pattern, but there's probably some error there. The rest of these here are much better. And the last thing is we still need a title. So we just double click the graph and we click here, graph options. And we say the effect of time on the displacement of a toy tree. 